Hey lovely people, this is Sean. Welcome back to the lovely place. Now, as you can hear by the traffic going by me, I am absolutely not at the lovely place. The lovely place is a 60 acre up and coming homestead that's completely off grid and it's way out in the country. And the sounds you get out there are more like birds and wind and the creek. The creek runs through the whole property. We're working toward making a homestead. So if you've not done so, come back to this channel check out all the things we're doing to make a homestead but today's video is not about a homestead it's about some Milwaukee tools that I picked up so as a lot of you might know I have a lot of Milwaukee tools uh, started out with Ryobi graduated up to some Milwaukee and uh, re really feel good about it so far I have everything that ranges from an impact driver to a table saw uh, and everything in between from their wet dry vac to circular saws and again just anything re related to woodworking uh, we've got nail guns uh, several different kinds of the nail guns from woodworking all the way to some automotive stuff but today I want to talk to you about some of their lawn care equipment I had never looked into it and I found this guy uh, a pretty good deal on it and I've already opened this box and we've already begun using this this is their weed eater I don't know if that's what they call it but it's a weed eater and it's the the fuel and it's their quick lock system now when I bought this I had no idea uh, anything about a quick lock system so I want to show you about this how this quick lock system works and uh, all the other attachments that come with it so the quick lock system you just grab the part that's the weed eater but this is the motor Okay, this is what you would consider the weed eater motor. This is the weed eater head, all right? And right here, there's this arrow, and they have this little locking mechanism here, and there's an arrow right there. And you just simply lay this on a flat surface, line it up a little bit, and boom, done. You take this little spinny wheel here, you tighten her down, slap a battery on it, and it's ready to go. That's all there is to it. So you can just as easily take this off and take another attachment that they have and pop it right in in exchange for the weed eater. So let's reconnect this weed eater and let's let you let's let you hear it run. Move that out of the way right now. It's got a slow speed and a fast speed. Low. Got a safety mechanism up here on this power head. You just reach forward and squeeze the trigger. It seems to be very ergonomic to me and works fine. This does not bother me at all. Other people on other reviews, they complain about this and say that it's a problem, but uh, it was really quick to get used to for me. In just a second, we're going to talk about all these attachments that I just picked up that go with this uh, quick lock system that I didn't even know existed. So when I bought the weed eater, I was not I had not educated myself on it yet and I thought it was just a weed eater I did not know it had all this other capability but this runs on the M18 platform and I already had a ton of M18 batteries because of all my other tools so I thought I'm just gonna go straight Milwaukee with anything I'm gonna buy battery operated and I've really been needing another chainsaw that's uh, battery powered because I've got my great awesome MS 261c steel chainsaw for big jobs but when I'm just riding through the woods on my side-by-side -side or uh, just out and about it'd be great to have that in the tractor or something that was uh, powered with my uh, uh, M18 batteries so that I could just get too quick now I've got my eye on another chainsaw that Milwaukee has just come out with kind of stay tuned to this channel to see that it's their top hand saw it's really created for professional level for arbor arborists professional arborists and uh, tree trimmers that type of thing those guys that climb the trees and start cutting the limbs from the top but it's going to come in handy for a lot of projects that we have but yeah here's the batteries and here's how it works on the weed eater when i purchased it it actually came with an 8 an xc8 m18 high output battery there we go it's real bright out here you can barely see those lights but they came on it's fully charged and ready to go there's a lot of other great videos that show a in-depth test and battery power how long it lasts and so on this one has fantastic reviews this whole setup before i show you all the attachments let me show you a couple of other landscaping or lawn maintenance uh, tools that i got so i've got this fantastic awesome uh gas powered blower it's a uh, hitachi i've showed that to you guys before 
it's I've had it for years it's on its last leg so I grabbed this thing it's got I think maybe 450 CFM yes 450 CFM and it runs on one battery well I ran across another deal right after I got this so this was mrs. lovelies and this is mine this runs on two batteries and if I remember correctly it is 600 CFM on this bad boy and these things start up instant everything that Milwaukee's throwing out there right now or not I won't say everything but all these tools within one second things are up to speed and ready to roll so this is the three foot extension pole and I've already unboxed this puppy because I just wanted to see how it fit into the quick lock mechanism and it fit very easily very quick and it locked also i wanted to let you know that if you're going to be doing this you're probably going to want a strap uh, that you can put around your uh, shoulder and uh, this is the strap that comes that is available for, for this kit now i purchased one of these extra they're about 25 bucks but lo and behold when this came in when my extension came in and it doesn't show that that strap is included in this but it was in the box so if you're going to order an extension a little helpful hint is order the extension first or go buy it open the box see if that straps in there if it is then save 25 bucks i actually took my second strap back today and got my 25 bucks back and i'm going to attach this to the uh, power head i'm guessing this is going to go somewhere in this neighborhood right here and that way you'll have a lot of leverage when you're reaching up real high to cut limbs with your pole saw or your hedge trimmer. And I really wanted this, especially for the pole saw attachment. This has not been unboxed yet, but this is the pole saw. You're gonna see all of this in action. I'm excited about this. The reviews on this are phenomenal. This thing cuts fast and it cuts clean. But yeah, that extension bar over there is great for this to get you up real high get those tree limbs that are up high that you can't reach with the simple you know this normal length here uh, I believe by the time you stick it up in the air we'll have to check on it but I believe it was 11 feet of uh, reach that you have okay let's open the, the pole saw up So this is where the uh, chain oil goes in. Nice and sharp for me right now. I'm gonna need to get some files that will fit this chain so that I can try to keep it sharp and avoid buying chain after chain. I think a lot of people do that with this because they, a lot of people who own these probably don't do, have other chainsaws and are not used to sharpening these chains. But yeah, I'd need to get some files that will work for that. Let's get this thing hooked up, see how quickly it attaches. There's my arrow. Here's my head. Here we go. There it is. Just tighten that up and you're good to go. Now, obviously, we will put that three foot extension in between here when we want to reach those higher places. But this is going to be sweet. Listen to that. I've not added lube yet, so we're not gonna keep doing that. But let's look how quickly and easily it just pops apart. All right, it's a weed eater again, or whatever you want it to be. This is the brush cutter attachment. This is gonna be great for trimming, you know, heavy duty, thick brush. As you guys know, I've got the DR, I've got the Swisher brush cutters, but this is gonna be really good for some detailed work and for some uh, getting in between small areas that I can't get into, or away from the lovely place and at my home or my office or other locations that I take care of. So let's open up the brush cutter, see what we got. Oh, here's my blade. Milwaukee puts these little tiny pieces of what looks like scotch tape on here. So there's not much holding this together. So it's easy to get open. There's the booklet. Here's some cardboard and some parts. Now this one, we're not gonna put together completely right now. You'll see that later but this has parts because you got to put that head on got to put that blade on and these are some of the parts that we're going to need to use to make that happen 
let's just open it up and take a peek here. Okay, nothing else in the box. We'll set this aside, throw this cardboard. Yeah, let's just throw it away. Over there. Okay, now let's take a peek in here. Alright, so the blade is right here. And here's what it comes looking like. Nice. It's got this little protective plastic shield that you can put the blade back in if you want to take it off the head. But I think once you've got it on the head, you're going to leave it there. And here's another little neat point that uh, some people, I've watched a couple videos now that, that I got interested in this. I don't know how to get this puppy out of here. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But apparently both edges of this blade are sharp. They're just angled on the opposite side. So this blade can be flipped and used on the other side once you wear out one side. Okay. That part's going to go on another strap. Okay. So this came with the strap. Also my uh like i said my three foot extension came with the strap which i've already opened and so uh, yeah i'm glad i took that other one back and got my 25 bucks back but there's the head that we're going to attach everything to this will connect just like the other one did so we're not going to bother doing that right now let's just open some other items this is the hedge trimmer this extends and this has different angles that you can click it from one place to the other to get different angles of attack when you're coming in to take care of any hedge trimming all right let's open this hedge trimmer what what okay so that's strap number three What's interesting is when you're ordering this, it does not point out that you're going to get that strap. So I like these little bonuses. Maybe we'll find another use for that. Keep that here. Let you take a look at this guy. So this one, I don't think there's any assembly required. This has... It's pretty solid looking pretty tough but this obviously adjusts in different ways and I'm looking at this I'm assuming this pulls down and yeah this rotates so you pull that back and you can let it go and it will stop in the position that you let that go uh, wherever there's one of these uh, indents here and of course you can make it straight so this, this one's going to come in so handy, just like the chainsaw. Very excited about this. But what's awesome about it, too, is it's great for storage. And I'm pretty uh, living out of my pickup truck when I'm at the lovely place. And so I love having all my tools in, uh, in the bed of the truck and ready and easily accessible at any moment. Not sure which side this goes on. Looks like maybe this way very cool this last but not least is the edger i have never edged a sidewalk or a driveway mrs lovely has wanted me to do that for years and we finally have an edger all right we've got our edger out so we're going to be able to clean up some sidewalks and make it look really nice along the edges of a driveway so that's just cardboard this one's i'm oh, sure Got some assembly required as well. Let's see here. Actually, no, this thing looks like she's all together. You might get to hear this one roar too. So, came with this little tool. I guess that's to make sure that blade's tightened up. Let's just give it a little twist and make sure it's tight and good. I'm sure there's some sort of lockout. Okay, so it's reverse threads there. And now it's definitely tight. Yeah, let's hook this up and here it go. All right. So here's our little arrow. Here's our power head. Lock it in. Tighten that down a little bit. And set that down easily. And let's let's hear this guy. Yep, 
I've seen it in action on video. Looking forward to doing it. Looking forward to showing you in action too. And of course we have this awesome three foot extension for making all of these tools longer if needed. So I didn't go out and just buy all of these tools individually. What you can do when you realize what they have available to you, if you invest in the power head, you can get the power head. If you don't need a weed eater, you can get the power head, say with the uh, the edger or with some of the other tools like the, uh, the hedge trimmer. Um, or you can get a combination of multiple tools. That's what I did. I had already purchased the weed eater power head with the weed eater head itself. And uh, I needed all of these extra ones. They even have a couple of other, and I'm sure they're going to continue to add on to the line. But they've got some other tools that I just didn't need right now. You can check those out, I'm sure, at uh, Milwaukee's website or some big box store's website. Uh, and that's, that's how I went through. I, I went to uh, the main box store that carries Milwaukee. I got these tools in a package deal, and I saved a couple hundred bucks doing it that way. As you can see, there has never been an edge on this, and obviously this is not good grass, but we're gonna see what we can do to a place like this, just to clean up the edge where there is grass. Let's take a look and see how this works out. thing is a fast moving machine <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm doing this right but we have made a little edge here I kind of held it up out of the ground here I'll come back and get this but I went in about right there and you can see what it did let's keep going this direction So the machine will drag you if you let it, but I think I'm learning you don't go as fast as the machine wants to go. do a little weed eating and blowing and see how she looks. Just go gentle with it. All right. Let's see how this does at cleaning up the edger's work.
looks like. So we have the big double barrel M18 Milwaukee fuel leaf blower. Let's get on it. So, for the first time, obviously, I will improve. But for the first time, this looks a lot better than, than it did before, obviously. It would be nice if there was some grass there. But, we have an edge. Concrete kind of angled out in certain areas. I'm not sure if it, that was one of them or not. If I just didn't hit it good, I'm going to hit that again. And uh, make an improvement. But, I think by about here, I was starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Okay. So we are going to test this guy out. Obviously, I don't need this big long extension for something this close to me, but it's the nearest thing to me that we can cut. So let's see how she does. Now I've got it adjusted straight out. Earlier, I was grabbing it by the actual blade when it was not connected, of course. But obviously, here's a handle. So when you adjust, you can do it like this. So let's try, let's try this level. Let's see what we get. All right, here we go. That's quick. Let's try something up high. This is a little thicker. It got caught, but it got it. There we go. Sweet. Let's see this thing in action. All right, let's throw her together. This is the extension. There it is. Tighten it down. Scoot her back. Here's the pole saw. Let's find the click. I didn't hear a click, but it's locked. That's gotta be it. I don't want to. I want to hear. I want to hear a click. Let's try it again. Okay, it's loose. Let me get on this side for you, so you can see. All right, let's hear a click. There it is. I like that better. All right. Let's lock this down. Let's cut some limbs in this big old sycamore tree. 
So what we have is a gigantic sycamore. Can you see me? It's a big one. I'm standing up on a rock. So I've got some low limbs. We're going to test it on those. There's some limbs up high I would love to get, but I don't think it'll reach that high. It might. I'm going to go get some protective glasses. All right. This thing easily extends very high. Let's go ahead and knock off a couple of these low ones. Nice. Get this one over here. And up here in the back. Oh yeah, it's awesome. I wonder, I'm not gonna cut it yet. I don't even know if you can see it, but yeah, let's get that. Okay, it got a little hung, but it's got a claw on here that you can grab a branch, pull it down. Okay. I've not opened any instructions, so we may have to re resort to that in a moment, but at the, this time I'm just getting some contents out of the bags. Okay, we know what this is. That's for the handle. So, put that back in. For the uh, strap. That's what that's for. This is also reverse threads.
give it a little bit more of a snug fit here. Okay, that seems pretty tight. That's what that's for, to secure that, keep that from moving. I think it worked anyway. <laughs> so that thing seems to be moving correctly. Okay. I believe now it's just as simple as adding these on. not tell me what any of these are for I guess those are for if I am putting on it shows the handle which it did not come with the handle or the hardware uh, maybe it's because it came in this kit and it knew it assumed I did not need it I don't see any other pieces it says a hex wrench which we used a ratchet a socket uh, so yeah, I'm guessing that those these other bolts are for that. We have these four, and I know what these are for, so let's pop them in. I uh, watched a couple of other videos where people had a little bit of difficulty getting that to click. Just be patient and fiddle with it. It eventually clicks in. It's just got a lineup. It's like a PTO shaft inside of there. Basically, that's exactly what it is. Let's throw a battery on here and let's listen to this thing go. see this in action yes that is correct believe it or not it's the same day and look what I just landed I just landed this Milwaukee double battery lawnmower M18 there's my two HD 12.0 batteries in there this did not come with the batteries I found this from a fella who bought it on auction on Facebook marketplace it's got every part with it even the double rapid charger but it did not come with the two batteries and i got it at a really great price even without the batteries so we're gonna take it back here and mow a little bit i gotta take this off i unboxed it it was in the box at his house i mowed half of his lawn just to make sure it was a good one and everything was fine and it had not had the first blade of grass it still had the plastic wrap on the top it it was brand new and now we got it that completes our milwaukee lawn and lawn and garden equipment set so here we go let's mow a minute here we go so it just shuts off when you let go of that this thing is so cool how do you like the headlights that's some nice led lights right there this is the adjustment you grab this one handle it's going to adjust all four wheels at the same time boom boom that's two let's go to three let's just knock this one out nah. let's go to two all right we're going to hit it with two see what it does look at the garden down there it's booming good all kinds of good stuff let me show you these peppers real quick i know it's a side note but these peppers look amazing. These are potatoes right here. Look at all that basil. We made a ton of pesto. Well, Mrs. Lovely did. But look at this, guys. You seen a pepper? 
that big before. I'm sure a lot of you have, but I haven't. So no, oh, they're delicious. We had a couple of good cheeseburgers a while ago, and I had those sliced peppers all over it, and they were delicious. They're really sweet. Got some squash coming up right there. I don't want you to listen to how quiet this thing is when it starts up. have the mulcher in the back here and so it's been chopping everything up real fine and mulching it real good and uh, you know it came with the bag as well so you can bag all of your clippings and it came with a rear uh, chute that allows you to shoot out everything but we just mulch this that didn't take any time at all but it's hot and humid out here so I'm sweating I still need to do this little section up front but it turned out really great. No gas, no carburetor issue. I have a Husqvarna uh, self-propelled push mower. And uh, last year I put a brand new carburetor on it. It's having the same issue this year. And I ran non-ethanol gas in it, and took good care of it, ran it out of gas for the winter. So not sure how that happened, but I've got it tore apart right now. I'm gonna try to clean up that carburetor and see if we can get it working. But I'm gonna probably be selling it because this will be my backyard mower. There's very little grass here. Uh, two 12 amp hour batteries are gonna be more than enough. I mowed half of the guy's yard when I bought the mower uh, just to check it out and make sure that it was functioning properly. And uh, when I got back here, it was still on uh, all four bars. But now, as you can see, let's see. It's down to the three bars. And I love that, that's your fuel gauge. All right, so. Thanks for joining us today, lovely people. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This is totally out of the ordinary. As I mentioned before, we're not at the lovely place today, but we will be back very soon. But I thought a lot of you guys might get a benefit from learning about these quick lock tools, attachments for the weed eater and all the other uh, items, and this nice mower. Now it's pricey, uh, but again, I got blessed and I found it at a really good value. So we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.